Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys something you probably didn't know about in Grand Theft Auto Online or GTA 5. That's the beauty of what I'm going to be showing you today. You can either do it in single player or in online. It really doesn't matter. So I was browsing the GTA Online Reddit, and I came across a post from a user, Flugger Butter, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Now the post was, on the east coast of Los Santos, there's a long, underwater valley that's great for going through with the submarine and this is incredibly cool i had no idea that this even existed and this has been around since day one which is amazing it just shows you the level of detail that rockstar really put into this game that almost five years out we can be discovering new things like this another thing i think this shows is the level of detail and also the space that's underutilized under the water it really makes me wish that rockstar's next update or at least an update sometime in the future would include something that uses the water or the sea or something like that to our advantage because believe it or not it's a huge part of the map even though we might not go out there all that much it's a big part of this world so to see Rockstar do something out there would actually be really cool other than just having sharks kill us when we go out too far. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what this underwater marina trench, this long valley is like. Now for this, you're either going to need a submarine like the Kraken, you're gonna need scuba gear. However, by far the easiest way to explore this would be with the newly added Stromberg. You can drive straight to the location on land, and you can drive straight into the water. So the entrance to this valley is basically perpendicular east to Simeon's vehicle docks. So you, the way you're gonna know you're inside this trench is when you enter, the walls on both side of you are going to be massive, and it's really gonna make you feel slightly claustrophobic. Now for me, I'm kind of freaked out by deep water uh, so this in general would freak me out, and I'm kind of claustrophobic as well. So just going through this was kind of like a hair-raising experience for me. But this trench is incredibly long. It basically goes all the way up uh, past the Humane Labs. So that gives you a good idea of just how far this is. And because the way you travel via submarine and Stromberg underwater, it's pretty slow, uh, this is a really cool experience. Now, what's also a cool experience is inside this trench, this underwater valley, you're going to find things like crashed airplanes. You're going to find things like sunken ships with the treasure on them, which is really cool. You definitely need to be careful, though, because even in something like a Stromberg and navigating your way through this trench, many times I got the warning I was approaching crush depth, and I was just following the path of the trench. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of a dangerous and a wild ride, but this is actually a ton of fun. And getting back to what I was talking about earlier, sort of Rockstar ignoring the ocean, I feel like there's so much potential here, whether it's an underwater base or whether it's just utilizing things like the yachts or the aircraft carriers for new missions. I mean, they dabbled with that a little bit in single player and even in Grand Theft Auto Online where there were various missions that would take you through water areas, but you would never stay there for long. You would only use it either as a means of transportation or as a way to get you away from harm or the police or enemies chasing you or whatever the case is. They've never really utilized anything pretty cool under the water. The Probably the most they've done so, which was quite nice, was in the Doomsday Heist when they added vehicles like the Stromberg that was clear that was meant for vehicle exploration. But also number two, the second act of the uh, Doomsday Heist had us you know, infiltrating a submarine. So there were some underwater elements there and that was a lot of fun. So it kind of makes me wonder why Rockstar couldn't do something full-fledged based on the water. That would actually be really cool in my opinion. Now I did end up cutting my marina trench, my underwater valley journey a little bit short. I feel like for this video, it was number one, might be a little bit hard to see. That's another thing about the Stromberg is the lights aren't amazing on it. N nothing underwater you're gonna be able to see that well. And while it might look fine for me on my own monitor, uh, on YouTube I didn't know how dark it was gonna look. So I didn't just wanna go all the way up and have you guys see absolutely nothing. So I tried to stay number one as high as possible, but also number two, just give you a pretty good idea of what's going on here. But this once again is incredibly cool. It goes to the level of detail 
scale that Rockstar have included in their game. And it just goes to show you that even four and a half, five years out, you can still learn new things playing GTA V. It's insane. I don't think there's ever going to be another game like this where you can hop on every day and potentially learn something brand new, which is really cool. I didn't know about this. I'm sure some of you guys didn't know about this, and it's really cool to explore. Now, one extra thing I would recommend, if you guys have PC, what you should do is install a no water mod. Now, I've actually done this uh, in a live stream on my channel a couple times. What you should do is go through this area with no water on and see how crazy and high those walls are. That would be really, really cool. So that's something extra you can do if you do have PC. I know that mod takes like 30 seconds to install. So if you're pretty good with doing PC mods, that's something you might actually want to jump on. That would be really cool to check out. Maybe you guys could take some cool snapmatics and whatnot. But you should definitely check this out for yourself. It's incredibly unique. It's incredibly cool. On the east coast of Los Santos, this long underwater valley marina trench. It's pretty awesome, and you should definitely check it out. But anyways, that's all I'm going to be going over for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy, and hopefully you found this pretty cool. In the comments down below, number one, let me know if you had already known about this. And number two, let me know if you're going to be exploring this later today. I just feel like this is awesome. So let me know if you're going to be checking out as well. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.